Hey everybody, I'm going to hop into Flowdesk today to show you a quick tutorial and rundown on what Flowdesk is, if you should switch to it for your new email marketing platform, and then how to use it with Show It. So let's go ahead, I'm going to dive right in. All right. So whenever you go to Flowdesk, this is what it looks like. This is the homepage. And as you can tell right away, they really do have beautiful templates um, that you can highly customize more so than I have seen um, with any other platform like ConvertKit, ActiveCampaign, MailChimp. So let's go ahead and I'm going to dive right in. So on this page, I want to bring up, this is what my email looks like inside of it. So beforehand, I was using... Um, active campaign and this is just an example of an email that I sent out so as you can tell it's very simple um, it's not really pretty but it gets the point across um, however it is a long form paragraph so I assume most of the time just knowing how viewers interact with um, text on a computer that more than likely this isn't getting read very much however let me show you what the Flowdesk email looks like so this is what the Flowdesk email looks like. As you can tell right away, it is very um, highly visual. You have pictures added in, you have fun little graphics, and all of these all of these different um, things right here are pre-made. So you can go in there and really easily design a new email from scratch because they have these pre-made template blocks that you can drag and drop. And this is really cool. This is actually your live Instagram feed. So you can connect your Instagram up and then have um, showing some images from your feed. Whenever I sent this email, I had um, new people following me from Instagram, on Instagram from the email that I sent out. And that had never happened before. So as you can tell, um, it looks really a lot different and more visually appealing um, inside Flowdesk, which is the first reason why I am deciding to make the switch. Now, I wanted to also show you the results. So I tested out a campaign in here. It got sent to 500, um, just a little bit over 500 people. I had 126 opens and nine clicks. So that's a 23% open rate and a little bit under a 2% click rate. Uh, and then as you can tell, they show you that 73% of the people viewed my email on a desktop or a laptop rather than a mobile device. Nine people unsubscribed from this email, 15% of them bounced, and then seven of the emails got marked as spam. So that's why the deliverability was probably 93% because some of them bounced and some of them got marked as spam so they didn't land in the person's inbox. Another reason why I think the unsubscribes were so high is because more of the Flowdesk emails landed in people's inbox than what they were whenever I was using ActiveCampaign. So it's probably been a while since they had seen an email from me and they're like, oh, I don't remember who this is or what I'm signing up for. So they unsubscribed because that was the first time I was landing in their inbox. Now I'll switch over to Active Campaign. So this is what, um, let me pull it up. This is what the insights look like inside Active Campaign. So I sent this email to 359 contacts. Only 86% of them opened it and I only had two clicks. So I had less opens and I had a lower click rate. And as you can tell, this information on Active Campaign just isn't as easy to digest as the information over here laid out on this grid view. So that's the second reason why I am choosing to switch from Active Campaign to Flowdesk is because one, more of my emails are getting read and clicked on, which is the whole point. But two, I can more easily see the statistics and make informed decisions going forward with my email marketing. All right, now we're going to get into the forms. And so we're going to create a new form. They have a pop-up and inline. I really like the ribbon banner. Um, and so we're just going to customize this one. And I'm not going to spend too much time, so I'll probably do follow-up tutorials to this one, but this is just a really nice overview. So as you can tell, you can change out the canvas color. 
You can um, change out the different fonts. They have so many fonts that it is ridiculous. They have Ibram cursive fonts, which I've never seen before on a email platform. Um, you can even change out what the button looks like. You can change the um, background color. Let's set the width up higher. And then the message. So afterwards, they have different preset messages. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time there, but you can customize it. We are going to hit no return it from return visitors it doesn't really matter the one that we're doing right now and i don't want to be notified whenever new subscribers opt in now we're going to take this code so you have two different versions of the code we're going to take this top one and copy it i'm going to take you in to show it so this is one of the templates that's available inside shop carry love designs and then we're going to make sure that we're on the top layer of the page and underneath advanced settings, we're going to put this custom HTML code underneath there. Now, nothing's going to happen right now. Now, what I'm going to do is go back to that form and grab this second code. And then I'm going to put it on the canvas where I want the form to pop up at. So I'm just going to go down here to this canvas. I'm going to hit embed code. And then we're going to add that code in there. And as you can see, there it is. Obviously, I would go through and make it look a lot better, but I just wanted to show you that it does pop up there. And then um, what we can do is go through it. Let me see, I've never tried if this works, if we can extend it all the way out to the sides using that, no. All right, so that's fine. Let's see, now I'm just kind of playing around with it. Let's go back to customizing it. Go back to the design. And I want to see they have it where you can do no background color at all. So we want to do no background color, no canvas color, hit next, continue. We're going to copy this code once again because I'm not sure if it's going to automatically update it. And I'm just going to go in there and paste it one more time. And then what should happen, which now let's go through. I'm going to delete all of that. We're just going to have this code pop up. And let's take a look at what this code looks like whenever it is set to no background color. So there you can see it. Uh, the font goes a little bit higher, so we would probably change out that font. But as you can see, it pops right in to show it, and it looks so much better than any other opt-in that I've seen. You can put it actually over an image, which I've never been able to do before. Um, and so there you have it. That is how you integrate the Flowdesk into your ShowIt website. All right, if you like the tutorials like this, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button or follow me on Instagram so that you can get more tutorials over Flowdesk, ShowIt, branding, website, and marketing information.